What's up, guys? It's your boy, Turns to the Gamer here, back with my Roy Mac Refugee Day Tour. And fortunately, I got a bit of bad news. It turns out when I put up the video for the Groove Owner Challenge, I got a claim. And I waited about two or three hours and then they, you know, released the claim like they did for the other one. They didn't do it. I took it down thinking, oh, I can just edit this and re render it. Well, when I hit cancel on the original re render, because it's going to be a black screen. It turned out, well, you lost that file, because when you re-render re the original source material, that file is lost. So, unfortunately, we lost the file of me actually winning the Career Builder Challenge, but there you see what I did. You know, it's our 7th PGA Tour title in our first this year. Finished with the final 3 under, 69 to close out the win. I sincerely apologize that that footage is now lost. I wish I'd known that doing it that way would lose it, but that's the only knowledge you'll have of the Career Builder Challenge triumph, unfortunately. So, we'll just have to move on to the Phoenix Open. But, on the bright side, we are on our own in the, um, FedEx Cup standings. So, we're going to head into Phoenix Open at TPC Scottsdale until we can record a second trade win. Here we go. Coverage coming your way is presented by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Set in the Sonoran Desert and surrounded by the majestic McDowell Mountains, we're at the stadium course at TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. Hello again and welcome Rich Loder alongside Frank Nabilo, set to bring you all the action for today's event. Frank, when you think about the TPC Scottsdale, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? The golf course has been radically changed in 2014, but it still hasn't lost its luster. Really, it's just been updated like the game itself for these young, strong players of the modern era. Now to the 11th hole, we pick up with our featured golfer. Nothing noteworthy here in the first round, Frank, but still plenty of golf to be played. That's right, Rich. A little bit of a dry spell, but really not a lot of damage done. Alright, took our first shot of this round in just a moment. Again, I apologize. I was able to bring you a proper finish of the Career Builder Challenge. And it just provides a lesson for when I'm... For, uh, for next time I upload videos. So, easy come, easy go. At least you saw footage that I... At least you saw the proof that I did win. So, anyways. On to Arizona. Back in a moment. Okay, let's take our first shot to the Phoenix Open, and so you guys know, I also have a female golfer in this game that I'll probably be putting up on the channel as well, so you'll be able to see a male and female exploit for the channel. Her name is Serena. <coughs> I uh, originally named her Serena Thompson, but I might change the last name. But anyways, let's get started on the first round of the Phoenix Open before we start talking about female exploits, shall we? Alright, here we go. Let's go for another championship. Maybe Serena can do what Ted Storm couldn't and win the FedEx Cup in her first season. That I doubt, but we'll see. Going full He's loading right up on him. Look at the coil there. Full strength. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. Woo, that is long. This is when the game is fun, Frank, when you get one high in the air and down breeze and you just watch it. it stays in the air forever. Be the hang time on that. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Got it. Has the birdie now at one under par for the tournament. Good start. Good start. 12th hole now, start. looking at 192 yards, par three. Won't quite play that distance because that tee shot uh, is, is considerably downhill. But you really have to be cognizant of the wind if it's coming off the left because it easily brings that water into play down the right should that tee shot just start moving with the wind.
Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And now we'll have this for birdie. Frank going for two in a row now. Go unnoticed, Rich, but that birdie, just sneak inside the top 15. Thirteenth hold is where the action is right now. Let's take you there. An important stretch of holes coming up here late in the first round. What are some keys to finishing the first round strong? Once again, putting that ball in play, because if you can add one or two more birdies to this scorecard, it's going to look great at the end of the day. Just tattooed that. 200 yards to the flagstick. Frank, it's not just a golf tournament at the TPC Scottsdale. It's a party. It's a giant throwdown, isn't it? It certainly is, but the atmosphere works here. It just fits in. The players are aware of it. They're quite fine to play amongst it, too, because it's just a, it's such a rare event. And to be honest, a lot of the fans, and there were almost 180,000 on Saturday alone in 2013, a lot of the fans, they don't see a single golf shot. They're too busy having a good time, having a party. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. Hey guys, slow down a bit. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. It was cruel. It looked Damn, like it was it. certainly going in. Looks like he just misread that. Hit right off the lip. I would add an eagle if I made the five minutes. Just, just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time that one gets him in the top ten. Par four, fourteenth. Frank, it seems as though you'd be pretty happy with a par here. You would. Uh, even though the putting surfaces here at uh, TPC Scottsdale are excellent, it's going to take two good shots to reach this 14th hole. You can get in a little bit of trouble off the tee. That bunker on the left very much in play. The rough on the right side is no snack either because the ball, more often than not, will finish well above the player's feet. And, of course, that green is very, very narrow, well protected by bunkers on the left. One hundred and ninety yards now for this second shot. Yeah. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that, that never deviated offline. Shouldn't be a problem here. And another hurt. Four in a row. And with that birdie, moves into second place. That's the end of round one, and we saw a lot of good golf out there today, Frank. And it was a bonus to uh, anyone that got off to a good start today. Okay, third place, not too shabby.
to show it off. Back for the second round in just a moment. Wait, how am I in 14th on 400? The other guy's looking at a rope. Alright, second round, let's go to it. I think once this tournament's over, I'll. Want, yeah, once we finish the Phoenix Open, we might um, debut our, our female golfer, but we'll see. Not gonna make a different playlist for her, though. Presented by EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour. Here at the TPC Scottsdale oh, in Arizona, okay. and Frank, when so many people tune in to watch this great event, they think immediately of the 16th hole with all of those fans jammed in. It's like Fenway Park inside the desert there, but it's much more than that little par three, isn't it? It certainly is more than that, Rich. The TPC Scottsdale is a great venue for a PGA Tour event. It's a blend of everything. Birdie opportunities, holes that are fraught by water, bunkering that's being changed. All in all, it's a great atmosphere with nearly half a million people that visit this during the tournament week. Okay, back to the first shot of the second round of room two. <clears throat> okay, you guys ready? Let's do the second round. <clears throat> I know, hooked that a little, but I can use spin it the way I need to. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the year, that easy. Really good playoff to see at least 300 yards in the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This is a good looking shot. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Gave it a little too much spin, that's all right. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. More birdies like that, Rich. You never know. Just might sneak placed on the podium in the top ten right now. I can keep this up. There's no way that guy will be able to keep doing what he's doing. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Stumbled out of the gates, but now on solid footing, getting ready for this approach shot. Is a beauty, a real beauty. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Getting back to the last round, that six straight birdie that made pull the record beat it. Goes to six under par for the tournament. What a display of golf! Now to the second par three on the front nine. This is the seventh hole. Yeah, quite a stiff par three because of the narrowness in the front, um, really favoring a, a higher shot that's going to land softly, and therefore you can open up that green, because the further back you go, the wider it gets. And it makes the green in regulation. Been 
pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. They had to call me the birdie machine. <laughs> That's seven in a row. And with that birdie, moving into the top five on the leaderboard. And we're starting to uh, notice the name. This is a good hole, Frank, the par four eighth. Yet another dogleg left, Rich, on the front side. Um, and it's a sharper dogleg now because they've put in two bunkers down the left side. It used to be a bailout area for the players in the past. You can't do that anymore. And I doubt anybody can fly it over that uh, left one. It's nearly 300 yard, 330 yards to carry that in the air. Uh, those two bunkers have forced the players to go out right, making that second shot a little bit longer now. He has put himself in an excellent position with a beautiful tee shot. And now a good look at the green. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Pretty good shot right there. Because I had too much tax on the, on the first shot, that's why I only get par here. That breaks my party streak, but still eight in a row, or seven in a row is pretty damn good. Not like one par is going to kill my chances. No damage done. Made the par. Finishing out the front side now at the ninth. And Frank, what do you think of this par four? Nice way to finish the front nine, Rich. Very thin green uh, protected by that little splash bunker in the front. Um, iron players get a real advantage here. One bunker down the right side to be aware of off the tee, though. And I doubt anybody could carry that. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Par yesterday, now for birdie. Got it, back to our birdie streak. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. There you have it, Frank. The second round is complete. What are your thoughts? Well, I think anybody looking at this leaderboard, anybody in the top ten of that leaderboard uh, is certainly in a good position to win. Uh, quality of the golf there in that first ten is excellent. Okay, so pretty much right in the thick of it as we head to the third round. So we'll be going after the third round in our next video. So till next time, it's your boy Chum sitting with Hannah now. Remember to like the video, please give it a like. And subscribe to join Termination today. And if you have any video game comments, be sure to leave them in the comments video or at my Twitter feed at Chum twenty five. And don't forget to check out my friend Mel at Mel's Matt Chats 7 for all her take on the World of Professional Wrestling. Till next time, peace out.